Right you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the Windows 10 Spring Update as a fresh install or a clean install. Just boot up to your USB flash drive as you would normally do when you create your bootable uh, USB drive or CD and push the any key to boot to that device. Okay. Now once this starts booting up you're going to see the usual old uh, Windows setup and what you need to do here is click on next. From there you want to click on install now. And uh, from here, you can click on I don't have a product key. You can enter your product key a little bit later on. Except there are times, terms and conditions. And also you want to go to custom, install Windows only advanced. Click on this. And if you see any partitions or anything like that and you want to wipe them, you need to delete them here. Okay. And this is going to install a fresh install. So make sure you've backed up all your data at this stage. But I'm going to highlight these and click on delete. Because these have my win this has Windows on it. And I'm going to delete these. There we go. And uh, from drive zero, unallocated space, we can now click next. Unless you want to create more partitions, you can do. But I'm just going to install one big partition on there. Now this will start copying the files and start to install them. And it's very quick, so just sit back and let it go and install all the features, updates. Once it's finished installing all the updates, it will finish off and reboot the system. You may see a few reboots during this installation. Just don't touch the keyboard, just let it install. So it's going to reboot, as you can see here. It'll start getting things ready and installing all your services, getting all your device ready. And just sit back and let it go ahead and to you have to uh, type in your username and stuff like that. So we're just going to let this part come on. Now also what you're going to see here is Cortana. She'll start speaking to you at this stage. I've muted it. But if you want to mute it, there is a little uh, sound down there, microphone. You can block that and it will stop her from speaking to you and you can take care of it yourself. OK, now by all means, you can leave uh, Cortana speaking to you if you wish. If you don't want to mute her, you can let her speak to you and take care of it. And uh, I personally don't want that. It just annoys me. So I'm just going to turn that part off. Now I'm going to select United Kingdom. You can select what region you want. And also the keyboard layout. I'm going to be selecting United Kingdom. But you can select whatever keyboard layout you want. Say yes here. I don't need a secondary keyboard layout. But if you do, you can enter it there. Now what it's going to do is uh, get some important setup stuff for you. Just let it do its thing and it will go ahead and do that. You don't have to touch anything and it will just install. There we go. And uh, once this part is done, we can make some changes uh, to our settings as we go through the installation process. So here you can see here now, I'm going to set up a personal use for this computer. This is where I want to go down to offline account but if you want to do a, an online account you can do and I'm going to say no to all this stuff I don't want to do it I just want an offline account but if you do you can select it now I can enter in my username so I'm just going to quickly enter a username in here you can put in whatever you like and you can add in a password which is recommended but I'm going to skip that part and this is or Cortana again. So I'm going to say no to Cortana. But if you want to install uh, and have Cortana take care of it, you can say yes there. And uh, do more with your voice. I'm going to say no, I don't use speech recognition. But if you do, this is the part you want to put. Yes, I use speech rec recognition. Next up is let Microsoft use your location. If you want to do that, then say yes. I'm going to say no. And I'm going to accept that. So these are the parts that are all different now. Find my device. So you can accept this if you want to. And uh, this does require a Microsoft account. So if you do that, you're going to need a Microsoft account. I'm just going to select no here. Um, but you can make changes to this later on. But these are the new changes. Send diagnostic data to Microsoft. Full and basic. So you can see here, it's gone back to full and basic. So I'm going to go basic here. But... If you want to put full, you can, and it will start collecting all that data and sending it to Microsoft. Improved inking and typing recognition. This is another 
a sort of spy tactic i don't like it and i'm just going to say no here i'm just going to choose no for that i don't want it and uh, click accept again get tailored experiences with diagnostic data no i don't want that either but if you want it and you want to read that you can do and you can select yes if you wish i'm going to say accept for no again let apps use advertising id i don't want to do that so i'm going to say no here and that will take just a minute to get things ready and uh, Cortana's almost done here and all I need to do here is just let that finish off there we go that's going to start to get our user profile ready may take several minutes to install and there we are now another few features on here if I go to system here I'll just quickly show you that it is the uh, spring update here now don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already you can see 1803 that's the spring update there don't forget to hit that bell notification button as well to keep you updated when I upload new videos now another good feature here for Microsoft which they've done is added in uh, a data part which allows you to delete the data which they collect which is a nice uh, touch they've also added uh, password reset things and loads of other bits and pieces but let me come down to the diagnostic and uh, feedback here so when you come down here this is the part they've added in delete diagnostic data so you can delete all your diagnostic data instead of sending it back to Microsoft by the use of this button here that's one of the added features on there and that's pretty much it that's how you can install the Windows 10 spring update as a fresh install uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.